Prosecutors say it was an online argument that led to a shooting that accidentally claimed the life of a seven-year-old girl this summer. I want you guys to understand this. Social media beef, things said on Facebook and Twitter, account for a large portion of the shootings and murders in the stand. Okay, a large portion of them, maybe 15%, 15, 20% things said on social media. Okay, <laughs> and we heard our buddy over oh, there in Oakland, the um, activist who was slain last week. He talked about desegregating the internet. <laughs> and we know that it's not segregated. But, however, if it was, could you blame them? Seriously. Could you blame them? Prosecutors say it was an online argument that led to a shooting that accidentally claimed the life of a seven-year-old girl this summer. Uh, those details coming out in Bond Court today. WGN's Julian Cruz is live near the scene of that shooting on the northwest side with the very latest. Julian. Lourdes, there's a sense of relief in the neighborhood this afternoon. Bond denied for Arion Luster in a Cook County courthouse. The prosecutors detailing his extensive criminal record, which includes two lengthy stints in the Illinois Department of Corrections on armed robbery convictions, but the 24-year-old alleged gang member facing... When they said two lengthy stints in the Illinois Department of Corrections, how many of y'all thought that they would just... They was going to say this guy was like 44, 39 or something like that. This dude is 24 and he's already done two lengthy stints in the Illinois Department of Criminal Justice for, for armed robbery. Now, we know another guy who did two stints in the pen for armed robbery. Um, but he got a statute. I don't know if they're going to get this guy a statute. Um, however, criminal justice reform, and let me talk to you sisters, because these, <laughs> these pasty liberals are starting to wake up. <laughs> they still sleep, but you know how when you just, like, you know, you hear Look around, look at the clock. It ain't it ain't time to it ain't time to get up yet. You go back to sleep. Sisters is just like <laughs> Sisters are snoring. Let me talk to you, sisters, man. Criminal justice reform only helps one group of people. Criminals. Lourdes, there's a sense of relief in the neighborhood this afternoon. Bond denied for Arion Luster in a Cook County courthouse. The prosecutors detailing his extensive criminal record, which includes two lengthy stints in the Illinois Department of Corrections on armed robbery convictions. But the 24-year-old alleged gang member facing much more serious murder and attempted murder charges. It all started with Facebook back on August 15th, the victim's uncle, according to investigators, exchanging online threats with this man, Arion Luster, a known gang member, according to prosecutors. And somebody said this on the chat the other day. You don't necessarily. This is the danger in, uh, with Sunman and make sure you join us every Tuesday and Friday at 930 p.m on Oc Nation TV. The link is in the description box for the live stream. StreamYard. Hit the link, come in, join the panel. But they were talking about this in the last stream. It's not even, you don't even have to, the sun man that, you know, <laughs> the sun man in your life, 
doesn't even, ha it doesn't even, ha you don't have to be around, so just a son in the vicinity, someone coming to try to kill him. And it could be tragic for you. Like just proximity to Sun Men is extremely dangerous. Anytime you got a guy who's been to the pen twice for armed robbery, he's out. I mean, just think about it. Because of all the protesting and all of the um, criminal justice reform advocacy, it's very lenient. And, you know, got a prosecutor up there that's, you know, probably, you know, didn't ask for much time for him. And judges up there very lenient, too. So the whole system, the whole criminal justice system that has been reformed in Chicago um, made a way for this brother to be on the streets. This brother at 20, he, he, I mean, he had his whole life ahead of him. He could have done anything with his life. He could have went to, you know, trade school, learned how to work on cars. He could have, you know, went to HVAC school, learned how to do HVAC. Those piping, plumbing, all the, these are things that you don't have to, like, be like a math scholar. You don't have to. You can pick up this stuff, you know, fairly easily. Whole life ahead of him after all he'd been through, all he'd put himself through. And none of that means anything. He'll throw it away at the drop of a hat. That's why the stand is so dangerous. Because if you're anywhere near a sun man, there's another sun man that may just come try to kill him and maybe hit you. It all started with Facebook back on August 15th. The victim's uncle, according to investigators, exchanging online threats with this man, Arion Luster, a known gang member, according to prosecutors. Less than 30 minutes later, Luster, with two other men, circling the victim's home in a silver Chevy sedan on the 6200 block of West Grand, investigators say, looking for the uncle. The Chevy rolling into this alleyway off of Grand and Merrimack Avenue, police say, Surveillance cameras, according to Cook County prosecutors, capturing the men as Luster and an alleged accomplice wearing all black emerge from the vehicle. Within a minute or so, the hit team sneaking through an alleyway to open fire on their target, but instead mortally wounding seven-year-old Serenity Broughton in the heart as she sat in her family's car with her six-year-old sister, Aubrey. The six-year-old critically injured with a gunshot wound to the chest and armpit but the courageous little six-year-old surviving her ordeal. Some sun men over some stuff said on social media. Think about this. Remember I told you in the, right before, a few minutes ago he could do anything he wanted? Look how, look how dedicated and determined he is when he needed to be. He got two guys. To pledge to throw their lives away if caught. Well, in Chicago, they <laughs> throw a few years away <laughs> if caught. To take guns, which are legal in the city. And within 30 minutes, he was able to do this. Think about how powerful that guy is. And most sudden men are like this within... 30 minutes, they can round up a bunch of some men to come throw their lives away. It's very, trust me, it's not, it's, trust me. Now, m most sun men are like this. Like, it's not, it's not like a special thing, like a rare thing. Let me put it like that. It's not rare. Like a lot of guys you cross in the street and you be like, you wouldn't even believe. Like he, he can, he can get some sun men to come throw their lives away with him. Or, you know, throw your life away. <laughs> but just to think that somebody came and shot these kids and it wasn't like everything didn't stop in the city. Some kids got shot the next day. Some kids got shot the day before. I remember when this happened. 
Some kids got shot the next day and some kids got shot the day before. Just think, these two kids got hit with some high-velocity high rounds. Some gangland guns. One didn't make it, one didn't make it. Where was Joy Reid? Where was all the sisters on YouTube worrying about who this dude dating? <laughs> They too been so busy worried about who he dating that they forgetting that he killing their kids. <laughs> wow. A known gang member, according to prosecutors. Less than 30 minutes later, Luster with two other men circling the victim's home in a silver Chevy sedan on the 6200 block of West Grand, investigators say, looking for the uncle. The Chevy rolling into this alleyway off of Grand and Merrimack Avenue, police say. Surveillance cameras, according to Cook County prosecutors, capturing the men as Luster and an alleged accomplice wearing all black emerge from the vehicle Within a minute or so, the hit team sneaking through an alleyway to open fire on their target, but instead mortally wounding seven-year-old Serenity Broughton in the heart as she sat in her family's car with her six-year-old sister, Aubrey, the six-year-old critically injured with a gunshot wound to the chest and armpit, but the courageous little six-year-old surviving her ordeal, Luster in the meantime fleeing the scene with his alleged accomplices. 29 shell casings left behind for detectives to examine on the 6,000 block of West Grand. Ballistics tests soon revealing that the bullets appear to have been fired from two different weapons. Luster, with the help of surveillance video identified by multiple witnesses, police say, the 24-year-old arrested and then released due to a lack of evidence, according to the Cook County State's attorney. The controversy causing friction between police and prosecutors, but detectives didn't give up accessing Luster's cell phone number remotely, police closing in on the suspect who was detected by suburban Riverside police, investigators finding the 24-year-old hiding in a crawl space at his grandmother's Riverside home, police arresting Luster a second time, facing a Cook County judge today in bond court. The police found this dude in a crawl space at his granny's house hiding wow salute to the police man and they had to overcome the prosecutor Kim Kim Fox they had to overcome her they weren't just struggling to find this guy and arrest him and arrest him again. And they were fighting against the prosecutors who didn't want anything to happen to this guy. Chicago police are still looking for the two alleged accomplices. If you have any information or you know who's responsible, detectives need your help. You're asked to call Chicago police. In the Belmont Central neighborhood, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Thank you, Julian.